Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? Hope you're all well on this lovely sunny autumn, very warm um, day. It is Saturday the 29th of October. I think that's the right, the right date. Um, and we have come out to the pumpkin patch, haven't we guys? We're out of the pumpkin patch and we're going to take you along with us. <laughs> It is super busy here. Loads of people, absolutely packed. Um, look at all the lights up in the trees. It's a Christmas tree farm, but they set it up for Halloween with like a spooky trail throughout all, through all of the um, Christmas trees. It's awesome, the kids absolutely love it. So let's go and have some spooky fun. Oh, I spot some pumpkins. Look at these that Leo's found. Lovely little tree, like Halloween tree decorations. Aren't they cute? A little mouse. We've got the little two pumpkin. mice, a pumpkin and a witch's hat. They're very cute, aren't they, Leo? Yeah. Look at these beautiful pumpkins as well. It's they very, got very busy in lumpy, here. Lumpy, lumpy. Lumpy ones, yeah. He's got a wart on him, hasn't he? Wart. <laughs> that one's got lots of warts, that one has. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, it's very, very busy in here. Beautiful. Right, it was really, really busy in there, wasn't it, Leo, yeah. hey? How busy was that? Cool, blimey. It was, um, it was nice, it was gorgeous in there. It was a lovely teepee, all decorated. Well, they have the eyes. The eyes? What do you mean? The eyes inside the sea. Those eyes. Oh, they're pickled onions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That one looks like a lemon. A lemon, it does, doesn't it? There's loads that. There's white ones. Water ones, green ones. They're squash, they are, I think. They're squash. Hay bale over there. Halloween and Christmas. I've got gingerbread. Ooh. It's pretty good. Christmas stuff in it's like a mix of Christmas and Halloween. Let me smile. Sal's has had her face painted. It's a bit scary. What's he doing? Making some sausages. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. This is the spooky Halloween trail and in between all the Christmas trees there's different scenes from um, nursery rhymes. Look, it's called Cold and Close here. And you have to look for the, the bats one. at the top of the trees. The blue one! Go on then, find it. And then you have to answer questions at each tree. Um, and then if you can if you can solve all the riddles at each Christmas tree. Yeah, so the black bat, the, the nursery rhyme was three little pigs. The anagram was bricks. And you have to, to find Tom's thumb open all of them, don't you? But yeah, it's so lovely. Um, Look, it's so Olaf and nice. Elsa from Frozen. So oh. nice. Look at Olaf. So it's... So it's...
Oh, Ariel's looking a bit ropey. <laughs> she had a heavy night. Well, there's more down the bottom, look. Yeah, well, this is it. We don't know if they've got them or not. But have a look. Well, last year... Oh, you didn't come this last year, did you? They hide coloured rocks in the pumpkin patch. And you have to find them. They said they were doing it this year. Well, let's have a look what's down here for her. Yeah. And if that's still there, the way, if you just don't find any, we'll get them. Yeah, don't run me over. There's not actually that many left. There's a few down here. Can you see them in the distance down here? But yeah, they've pretty much all gone, the pumpkins. Although we are like two days away from Halloween, so it's no surprise really, is it? But yeah, let's see what we can find. They might be a bit rotten, but hey-ho. They've got a big, um, big boxes of them up there. We can just buy one that's already picked if we can't find any nice ones. But yeah, let's have a look what we can find. Yeah, they definitely look a bit scabby, don't they? They don't exactly look like the best pumpkins, I will have to say. We found one of the painted rocks, guys. Yay, look, it's a little scary face. Frank Frankenstein Stein rock. Yay. Got a prize now. <laughs> we found two. Found painted two rocks. painted rocks. Yay. Are you short and short? Oh, and they adorable. Oh, oh, they're so sweet. Oh, exactly. oh shh, 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 don't frighten them. Oh, they're absolutely adorable. Oh, aren't they sweet? <laughs> Pumpkin mum. Oh yeah, they look like they're enjoying that. It's so weird how they can turn into that. Blimey, well done. Blimey, can you Not take, bad. Can you open this up? Yeah, just Try a sec. That one's looking good. I like the look Max's. of that one. Max did that one. A lot of pumpkin guts everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it All out right, first. Alright, good old mess. I'm going to like, I need one of those like little scrapers. Yeah. Um, Max. If you want to solve the mystery of who stabbed Kutrapali in the back with a weapon of indifference, it was all of you. Well, look at this ugly bunch. <laughs> look at our pumpkins, guys. Oh, wow, aren't they amazing? Um, oh, yeah, we, we did go a little bit overboard, but blimey, have we enjoyed making them, haven't we, Zales? It, it was a bit to messy. be fair, it's been, it's been the messiest pumpkin making we have ever had. You will have seen, it was just absolute carnage on the dining room table, but hey-ho... Um, it's all fun. I just love a pumpkin. Who just loves a pumpkin? You can't beat it, can you? There's just such, oh, the, the, the atmosphere that a pumpkin creates. I just love them. So yeah, this is our clan for this year. It's quite a lot of them. Bit of a motley crew, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we can have some inside, aren't we? Um, for tomorrow and then we'll have some outside as well. So yeah. Oh, I just love them. They bring me such joy. Such one? joy. Just thought I'd show just thought I'd show you my little um my little Halloween party haul that um that I've collected for our Halloween party tomorrow. It's all from um Aldi and Home Bargains. We've got eight Halloween cupcakes. They're so sweet. We've got, I don't know, they're like monsters and spooky like spelly colours and stuff. Got one with an eye, and I think the other one's just supposed to be like, um, like you know, 
I don't know, like a spell type of look. Zella thinks she knows what is it. Zella, Zella's is drinking a, a, an apple juice. She might be able to hear in the background. Um, next from Aldi, we got some of these. These are just all going to go on the table. They are monster milk chocolate pumpkins. Just tiny. It's like the Christmas ones you get, you know? All the little, they're tiny little pumpkins of all different faces on them. So they're really, really sweet. Um, I also got some Haribo Sour Skeletons from there. These are for their Halloween party that we're having tomorrow. They'll just all go on the table. Um, some Cadbury Goo Heads. They'll go on the table as well. Pick some of these up. These this these were home bargains, actually. Um, some Oreo Spooky Vanilla flavour. Oreo, well, they're always vanilla, aren't they? But they've got a cobweb design on them, so I thought they'd look quite sweet on the table. Um, I also, how lovely are these, look? Some Halloween crackers. I've never seen Halloween crackers before. A pack of, how many is there? Six altogether, I think they, they were. They were $1.99, if I remember rightly. I'll, I'll let Oz back in there, darling. Um, yeah, how sweet are they? So I'll just stick them on the table and the kids can just have one of those each. They've got a party hat in them, a joke and a sticker. So they'll just go down a tree. And then last of all, I picked up from Home Bargains as well. This is 99p. In fact, I think it was less than that. It might have been 79. Um, it's a, a Halla Scream pumpkin milk chocolate bomb and it's filled with marshmallows. I've got that for the prize for... I think it's pin the t ping the fans on the vampire, um, the game that I've got for the kids. So whoever wins that will 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 have that as their as their prize. So yes, this is my ghoulish my ghoulish haul. <laughs> oh God, ignore me. Hello, lovely people. Okay, so it's now the following day. It is Halloween Eve. It is Sunday. The um, 30th of October and I have decorated the house for our Halloween party which is happening this afternoon trick or treat ha 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 I mean I don't know if you know it's anything different about the whole the fizzog <laughs> oh hello what's that up there <laughs> um yeah, I'm just, um, I'm all set up, just waiting for everybody to arrive. Um, the table is decorated. Um, I have many goodies on here. We have sweets and cupcakes and chocolates and the crackers are on the table and all my plates and everything. We've got all our pumpkins set up. They're not lit yet. I'm going to wait till it's a little bit darker and then we're going to... Then we're going to light all the pumpkins. It's currently, it's about 3.15, everybody's coming up for I'm hoping it'll be a bit darker by then. Um, I've got the spooky music set up on the speaker. We've got uh, Nightmare Before Christmas on in the background. I'm a bit gutted though, because I went to take all my decorations out, my yearly decorations that I use every year. And I don't know, I think I must have thrown a load of them out last year. They must have broken because I can't find any of my banners. Um, I had a massive spider, which I must that must have broke. I mean, on recollection, I think it probably did. That's why I haven't got it. So I don't feel like I've quite got enough decks up. But there's, you know, I've got a few things up. We've got pin, that's the pin the ears on the vampire game there. Over here, that was that little light I got from Poundland. I'm not going to lie, it doesn't do a massive amount. <laughs> there's not a lot going on i'm hoping when it gets darker it'll be it will come alive um i've got this the the grand sum of three balloons on the floor because ozzy's popped most of them <laughs> god i've got all the food going in the oven i've cooked pasta bake i call it my graveyard pasta bake um and i've got other bits cooking already because my oven's a bit rubbish it takes ages to heat up so yeah i'm all set all set my friends for a spooky halloween party um i'm not jeez oh, christ that's that, that's right i just think i've just lost my, my eyesight permanently um i'm not actually going to film during the party my friends because i have um children come in who aren't my children and um i don't feel comfortable putting them out there when they're not my children it's not right is it um so yes, I'm not actually going to be filming during the party. Woo. I'm a spider in case you're wondering. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not actually going to film during the, the party. So this is kind of me signing out for Halloween 
2022. We're going to go trick or treating tomorrow after I finish work. But yet again, I won't film that either because we're going out with a lot of different, a uh, lot of children who aren't my children. So yes, this is me signing off for Halloween 2022, my friends. I hope you're all having a fantastic weekend, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I hope you, you all have an absolutely fantastic Halloween. Let me know in the comments down below what you're doing for yours. Um, what fun activities have you got planned? You know, let me know. Do you celebrate Halloween? Not everybody. So I'm trying to find some decent light. It's so dark everywhere. Um... You know, you may not even celebrate Halloween. I don't know. Let, let me know. But um, either way, I hope you've enjoyed um, this. Wow, it's been a bit of everything. Day in the life. Come, you know, pumpkin patch of me. Bit of Halloween decor, Halloween shenanigans. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you have, if you could give me a like and a subscribe, that would be fantastic. I'd appreciate it so much. Um, I'll be coming back to you soon with a haul video. I'm not sure what it will be yet, but there will be a haul video coming up soon and more videos as well. So until next time, lovely people, have a fantastic Halloween. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye.